A 100 hour candle, does it help keep your greenhouse warm? That is a question that I've wanted to know the answer to for a very long time. And it's not very often that you get the opportunity to try it out. As you can see behind me, we've had snow overnight and we've got more snow forecasts in the next 24 hours or so. So it'd be really interesting to see how we get along. I've just reset my thermometer, but it's showing at um, two degrees at the moment. But before I reset it, it was showing me that it had been down as low as minus two. Um, but it's been warm as 20 degrees centigrade. So um, it has been pretty warm over the last couple of weeks, um, but I have reset it now. So we will set up a camera and put this camera on and we'll see how we do over the next couple of hours or over the next 100 hours. As we've still got the snow up here at the moment, it'd be really interesting to see if it warms up enough to melt the snow um, or if the snow stays the same, if it gets much colder. I can't wait to see the results. Before we get into it though, I just wanna say, there are a few little gaps in the greenhouse, so it's not 100% um, airtight and it's not been insulated. So this isn't a scientific thing, it's just a little bit of fun to see how we get on. I can't wait to see the results. So here's my little setup for the experiment. We've got the candle here and the thermometer next to it. I've done that so it's kind of in the same shot. So as I film a time lapse, we can see the temperature kind of going up and down. Um, but obviously it's not gonna give the best results because it should probably be in the middle of the room. Obviously it's gonna get much warmer around, you know, this close proximity to the candle, but it's a bit of fun. So let's get it started and see how we get on over the next 100 hours. I will say, obviously, if you are gonna put a candle inside the greenhouse, it's really important you don't put it on a plastic tray. I was about to start this off putting it on a plastic tray and then I realized if, for instance, the glass breaks or anything like that, it's gonna set fire to that plastic. So make sure it's in a metal dish or um, something that is not gonna burn your greenhouse down. It's day two now. I lit the candle about 22 hours ago. And as you can see, we've had another really cold night. We had a little bit more snow in the evening yesterday, and then we had freezing temperatures overnight. So all of the kind of slushy ice everywhere has um, turned into kind of solid black ice all over the place. It was super slippery, um, but the candle is still um, burning really well. And it's really interesting actually, because although we have um, ice and snow on the top of the greenhouse here, over on the other side in the corner above the burning candle, there's no ice at all, but a little bit over from that, there is ice. So I can't wait to see how low the temperatures have got overnight now i did actually set up a um, time lapse in there and i think even though i don't know if you can see i uh, plugged it in i think the battery is gone and it's ran you know it's it's not filming anymore but i don't want to go in there yet because the sun has only just come out and it's still super cold so i don't want to open the door and let that kind of heat go out so in the afternoon i think i'm going to head in there check the camera um, and see if we did get freezing temperatures in there. We're 24 hours in now, and there's been some really exciting results so far. Um, the maximum temperature we've had is nine degrees centigrade, and the minimum has been zero, which means we haven't gone into minus figures. It is keeping the frost off, and fingers crossed, we continue over the next couple of days to see the same results. It's 48 hours now since we started the candle. As you can see behind me, there is still snow and frost all over the ground. Last night was one of the coldest nights possibly that we've had all year. This morning, when I got in the car, we were on minus three. And then when I got back in the car, after the car had been sat in the sun for a couple of hours, we were on three degrees centigrade. As you can see behind me, there's still a lot of um, ice and snow on top of the greenhouse so it definitely did get really cold in there last night so i think this will be the day to see if it really did keep the frost out of the greenhouse let's go in and have a look 
having a quick look at the thermometer in here today and I can see that it actually did get down to minus one centigrade last night. So unfortunately, the 100 hour candle hasn't been successful in keeping the frost out of this greenhouse. Um, but I did mention that we had really, really freezing cold temperatures last night. So potentially, you know, it could have got a lot colder in here even though it got down to minus one in the greenhouse last night. I'm gonna still continue to go along with the experiment for either the 100 hours or for as long as it takes the candle to burn out. And the reason for that is, I mentioned earlier that it was so cold this morning. We're minus three in the car. So I'm guessing it probably throughout the night got much colder. And even though that thermometer is so close to that candle, it was minus one so it definitely would have helped keep it much warmer and you can do things like put two candles in if you know we're going to have a particularly cold night you can also put a fleece over your tender vegetables so it definitely is a really efficient way to keep your greenhouse warm we're on day three now it's 3 p.m. in the afternoon, so that means it's been going for around about 75 hours now. And when I came up here a moment ago, I did think the candle had gone out, but looking at it more closely, there is a little bit still there. So I don't know if we're gonna make the 100 hours, but it's definitely still burning at the moment. As you can see behind me, we've still got snow on the ground. We've had quite cold temperatures overnight again. It was a clear sky. So definitely be interesting to see if we've gone any lower than minus one degree centigrade. Okay, so having a look at the temperature in here, we are still at the lowest temperature being minus one. So I'm pretty pleased with that. And I definitely think without this, we really would have had much lower temperatures. Looking at this candle, I don't think we're gonna make it through another night, to be honest, but I will leave it going and see where we are. But if it does go out this evening, it will be interesting to see if we do get temperatures below that minus one. It's day four now and we've just reached over the 100 hour mark. It's safe to say the experiment is now over because the candle has gone out finally. And it actually went out last night before I went to bed because I was looking out the window and I couldn't see the flame anymore. But I'm pretty pleased that I have done this experiment now. Having a look at the thermometer, it has been slightly warmer the last couple of evenings and it was really cloudy last night and the frost um, and all of the snow and ice is really starting to melt now. So it was warmer last night, but we didn't have a candle going and it still only stayed, or the lowest temperature from the last 100 hours in here has been minus one. So I'm pretty pleased with the results. We have gone below freezing, but as I've mentioned quite a few times in this video, this um, greenhouse isn't insulated. There's a couple of gaps in it and the door doesn't quite close. So I think this is really good results. And definitely if you've got cold temperatures coming, put in a candle or put in two candles in overnight is definitely going to make a difference. Also, this is a slightly bigger greenhouse to your standard. Um, looking on social media over the last couple of months, I've really noticed quite a lot of people that use different forms of fuel to heat their greenhouses, whether it's gas, whether it's electricity, um, and I'm not sure if there is actually any other way to heat your greenhouse, um, but they have all been saying that gas has gone up loads in price and obviously electricity has as well. So I think this is a really good way of keeping your greenhouse warm. If you've got a big greenhouse, use two. If you know it's gonna be really, really, really cold, then put fleece over your tender things too. But one thing to take away from this is, if you really wanna be keeping your greenhouse warm at this time of year, maybe you need to think about what you're growing so early in the year because it's still so early. We are so excited to get our seeds underway at this time of year. But actually, if we then have to spend a load of money heating it, we probably just could hold off another couple of weeks and then start looking at um, 
putting our seeds in but anyway there you go thank you so much for watching i hope you found this video useful i definitely have if you've got any interesting um ways that you heat your greenhouse please put it down below in the description because i'd really love to hear about it and if you are new here really hope you've enjoyed watching this episode and please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos as ever youtube have some videos up now on the screen that they think you'll like so please go ahead and watch those and i'll catch up with you in the next episode bye